I was going to say big win for United. I look, they're all big wins, aren't they? I mean, three points is three points, but the performance is still lack massively. United beating Sheffield United um, 2-1. Uh, Diego Dallo scoring a fantastic goal, by the way. But you know what? They've shown that goal a few times. When you watch it from behind, maybe I'm being harsh yet. Goalkeeper should have done better. Yeah, I think goalkeeper should have done better. I think that's possibly true. Yeah, but I also think um, I also think that it is a, a brilliant win. You know, when you introduced this and you kind of said something like a big win, and then you checked yourself. You yeah. went, actually, it's not that big. You know, Sheffield United they should be expected to win that game. I think you were right first time. I think the fact that they've won the game in the manner that they did, there's no such thing as a. There's, there's no n- such thing as a standard win for this Manchester United. No, no, team, and there's no such thing as as a bad three points away from home in no. the Premier League. In the no. Premier League's we know how how tough it can go. You know the reason I said that. I think Flex, who obviously is um, is on this show sometimes, he said it as well. He said, "This is how we expect United to win games now, so that they're not going to run out. What, and do just what any Newcastle. old house. Yeah, just any, just win, yeah. Yeah. just win. It's not going to be the, Newcastle, Man City, fours important. and fives. It, it is important to acknowledge that when a club is is in a crisis which I think it's fair to say Manchester United were this season I think it was well, why were well, no I think a couple, of, a couple of wins no longer will, are a couple of wins certainly gives you a bit of breathing room where, yeah, where it, they've got a big week coming up as well because that, that loss to Galatasaray you know they've got no points in the mm. Champions League and they've now played two you know, games two, yeah you play. You only play six games don't you in that, yeah. it's, they've played two they've yeah. played you know you're supposed to win your home you home have to games win your home games to get particularly through. against Galatasaray who can't win in this country yeah. so, so big win coming up a big week coming up but I also think that when you're struggling the way that they were, any win is is so vital, so important. And they scored with a brilliant brilliant winner. Off the back of beating Brentford, it's two games in a row where they've won, going into a Manchester derby, going into a Champions League week. Yeah, I don't think they're quite in crisis anymore. I mm. think they can easily find themselves back in it. But at certain points in a season, it's not about how you're playing. It's not about progression under 10 It's hard. just get the three points. Yeah. Sometimes Smash it's and just grab the three points. Get it and just move on to yeah. the next one. Uh, Harry Maguire started again mm. uh, for United with Johnny Evans, by yeah. the way. Who, like, I mean, credit to Johnny Evans. I mean, could barely walk for Leicester last season. Now starting for May United, which is incredible. Um, he looks like he's going to get a run of games, Harry Maguire, just because of the injuries at the back. Got man of the match as well. Um, what do you, you make of this? I was going to say a resurgence. It's only been a couple of games, but I like the way he's kind of just, you know, he's taken all the flack. Mm. He's got back into the squad, got back into the starting eleven, and he's doing well for United. Yeah, he's doing all right. I mean, he's. Do you know when we'll find out, Eddie? It's all very well playing against you know Ollie McBurney, yeah, Cameron Archer. <laughs> let's 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 see what happens when Julian Alvarez and Erling Haaland are yeah. running at him. Agreed. And then I think Darwin be, Nunes, yeah, Salah, Gakpo. Yeah. Let's see that. Yeah, yeah. But I think he'll be back to square one when that. <laughs> yeah. oh, I really do. Look, he's a Sheffield boy, isn't he? So going he to is. Sheffield is is. Um, it's, it's going to mean it's going to mean a lot to him. He was man of the match, which felt generous to me because weirdly, I thought it was your mate Anana. You know, you've been on his case mm. a lot since the season started, really, yeah. and you haven't been wrong. But big saves from him, I thought. A couple of big saves, routine saves. Saves well, for him, that he they're should not make. Routine for him, saves they? that he should make, but not saves that he has been making. Agreed. And Agreed. therefore, I think he was probably it, he was probably man of the match. Yeah. But no, Harry, look, Harry Maguire. Defending against Cameron Archer, he's, he's always going to win that battle. He's a very good defender. Yeah, because you're Maguire. talking, it's physical battles. Yes. Yeah. Also, like, the, the narrative around Maguire went went ridiculous. It went from people saying he's not good enough to play for Manchester United, for people saying he's not a Premier League defender. That's stupid. Which was stupid. Yeah, we, like, we didn't go that far. You know, there yeah, was no, no, there no. was genuine conversation as to whether he would get in West Ham's team. Of course, he would get in West Ham's team. Not their starting eleven. I think look, Z- Zuma and Aged are very good players, mm. but I think. If David Moyes had the option of having Harry Maguire there as well, I don't know what he would do. I don't know who he'd drop. I'm not even saying like for like Maguire's better. I just think that a manager, given the luxury of playing Maguire, would play him at that level. Yeah. So this isn't the this isn't the test for Maguire. This isn't it. This is everybody knows that he can defend at this level. Everybody knows actually that he is a competent defender in a very particular system at against most teams in the Premier League. But that's not the point of signing no it's play. a bit like when you I think the other day you referenced Erlen Haaland yeah. when it was 8-8 eight eight, obviously he scored in the weekend he said 8-8 eight and, eight, and he said well he's not been bought to score against Burnley no, and Brentford he's no. been bought to score against they were winning those games yeah, anyway yeah, yeah. so it's, it's the same I think thing it's is the same thing like, with, um, like Harry Maguire needs look they're play, it's the Manchester, Manchester derby this weekend isn't it and now we'll find out and they're playing in the Champions League yeah those you are and I games. sitting here in 7 days time We'll have a far clearer picture. If I mean, did you use the word resurgence when we first started? Unfortunately, yes. 
OK, we, we can talk about a resurgence in seven days. If he's, if Manchester United have two clean sheets and Maguire is man of the match in two games, mm. resurgence is accurate. I believe that that won't happen. Yeah, and I don't <laughs> think United fans believe it will happen no. as well. United have been linked with a £60 million move for Mark Gahey, Crystal Palace centre-back, obviously, in the England squad. It's egg on Chelsea's well. face again, isn't it? Because you want it. Yeah, it's your boy, isn't egg it? Egg on Chelsea's face. <laughs> I forgot that it was your It's so boring. <laughs> yeah. It's so boring. I completely forgot. It's so annoying, mate. Yeah. I, just, I, don't, I just don't want to talk about this. Can we talk? Can, what else have you got on the running order? <laughs> yeah. I just, I it's so annoying. About that. I'm so, I'm so yeah. bored of Chelsea doing this. I really oh, I am. That. To do what, by the way? To go and sign who? who like, to go and sign Axel Dizazzi. It had been good, don't get me wrong. But is he clearly better than Mark Gahey? Mm. To go and to go and sign Benoit Badishile, is he clearly better? You know, clearly it's, not. It's clearly ridiculous, not. isn't it? Good player as well, Gahey. No, Gahey, good very player. good player. Big and it's move though, United, I don't know. Big, big move that. Big moves, big jump. It's a, it is a big jump, but I've seen enough in Gahey to suggest that he could, with the right coaching, be a top tier champion. Oh, you player. know what's very interesting? I know that, I absolutely know, and we all know that he loves uh, Stones and Maguire. If Gahey gets to move to Manchester United yeah. in January, yeah. uh, and then displacing he's Harry Maguire, Maguire. Yeah, but it won't matter. For. Look, Gareth Southgate, so. Gareth Southgate knows that this is his last tournament regardless. Yeah, I think he's going to do what he wants. Gonna do what he wants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not about the future of England. It's about yeah. this tournament and this tournament only, which is why Henderson, Maguire, Phillips will all play. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike Oliver, uh, I think we saw correctly deemed McTominay's handball. Yeah. Uh, all the penalty. Um, you say, yeah, like that. You got it wrong. What, to Kovic, didn't he? Remember that one? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So finally, he's got one correct. Yeah. But Tomini's having a bit of a, a resurgence. No, as that well. is a resurgence. That's yeah. a resurgence. Isn't no, that it? is a resurgence. Scoring yeah. goals. Yeah, getting I stuck know. In. I know, and I quite like the goal as well. You know, like just a bobbler Great finish. Yeah, but it's like a. It, it, I don't know. It's just it's just something about McTominay and it's the way grafter. that he plays. Yeah. He's a grafter. Yeah, very Conor Gallagher like. Yes, nowhere near as good as Conor Gallagher. I don't think. I, I was waiting for you to say. No, I don't yeah. think he is. No, he's but, not. He's but not. he's um. He's doing the business for Manchester United mm. now. You know when they need somebody to roll their sleeves up and get stuck in and make make things happen. He's doing he's doing very well. Let's see how he gets on in the. I can't wait for the Manchester derby. Are you looking forward to that? No, because I think Man City will absolutely thrash them. Do you think? Yeah, absolutely it, thrash it's them. It's the best time for Manchester United to play them. They, they've just found a little bit of rhythm. Like yeah. winning games is very important. It doesn't matter who the opposition are. You know, Chelsea went into that game against Arsenal having beaten Fulham and uh, Burnley. Mm. And look how we played against Arsenal. Manchester but, United will now go into the game against Manchester City with a you know an, an edge, something to prove, and a couple of victories under their belt. Did you hear, talking of Man City very quickly, did you hear the rumour, and it's a Twitter rumour or an X rumour, so I'm not quite sure if it's true or not, Man City willing to sell Kevin De Bruyne in January? I did not hear that. Did you not see that? Yeah. No, it can't be true. It can't, well... <laughs> Would you, would you have an injured player? Or play? I mean, it, it goes back to... I know, I know he's quite injury-prone now, isn't he, Kevin De Bruyne? Yeah, but you know when you think about their season, the big moments aren't now. Like, Guardiola's season usually starts in January, doesn't yeah, it? Like, that's true. when their team... That's yeah, when if his you can team... get him fit for January yeah. onwards, then... Also, yeah. th uh, post-January... What would January, he be worth in the market? How old's Kevin De Bruyne? 31, I think. 31. 31. Yeah. He is worth... Th it depends who's buying him. Like, if he's yeah. going to Saudi, he's worth a fortune. Mm. Um, I, th I think that... The defining moments of this season are still to come, and they and will probably come post January. Do it. And he could still have a huge impact on their season. Like you know, ultimately, you know that week that generally happens around March when you play. They'll they'll play Manchester United at home. They'll play Liverpool at away, Bernabeu, the, yeah, and then they'll the, play yeah. Liverpool. He's the, the man. Bruyne, a man in a match three in a row. Mm. Worth keeping around simply for that.